coming down and listening to the surf at night while you're in the caravan and going over the sand dune and then just seeing first thing you wanted, you looked at was to see if there's any surf was up. Some friends of mine that said, you want to come down to Torquay, that's where the action is. Isn't this marvellous, the freedom and the, what you can do? And the... We were at the mercy of what the ocean showed us every morning. The feature of the town really was the Torquay Surf Life Saving Club. There was just, just this, this era of just every day was different, every day was new. You sort of created your own body language of, to say of, of the way you surf. Some of the most creative people and most influential people in surfboards and surfing have come from here. The Olympic Games are coming to Melbourne. Why don't we have a surf carnival? Australian titles. We had 70,000 people turn up. And the first Malibu boards were used in Australia. In 1968, Doug Warbrick, Brian Singer and Terry Wall decided to open up a bit of a surf shop. They were able to sell wetsuits. And there'd be these crazy wild parties of mixes of chillums and LSD and, and just, it was just a very, very wild time. Uh, where we decided that we would blow the piano up. Eventually got busted for possession. I was Victorian champion. We got them going and uh, now, of course, on the rich list, 240 million each. And... It was unbelievable um, how it took off. Watching Rip Curl start, watching Quicksilver start. They just wanted to work where they could surf. You know, who discovered Belgium? It was there all the time, no one discovered. It's the longest running surfing contest in the world. My message is that I, I, I won it. At that time, talky southern man, you know, like, how big do you want to go? As big as it gets. How mad do you want to go? As mad as it gets. They had to wait twice as long as the men to be a life member. I never realised what racism was and until I'd probably suffered from it from quite a bit. I went to Hawaii and couldn't believe all these black crew. They run the joint. And to me, they're just trying to get as many rate payers as they can. Like, there's been so much bullshit and crap going on here in Torquay and development and just, it's nearly like Sin City. Uh, well, it was a big deal because she was the first woman president of a surf club. And this year we're both on the committee now as the woman's representative. If you're in a surfing town, you're involved with the world. Create a, a town with a far wider perspective than what a different place would be. You can be in such like a beautiful place like looking over like the cliffs at Bells with like all your friends and like having the pleasure of taking off on a wave and like riding it to the beach, I guess. That's what makes you want to paddle back out and keep going. You'd never imagine it would have gone the way it went. Never. <laughs>